Hello there folks. So I've been waiting for the GPD win for a long time before it was even a product. It's kind of a product I always wished existed. So I backed it on Indiegogo and to my surprise GPD actually shipped uh, reasonably on time. That's the first for me in the world of crowdfunding. So there are all kinds of videos out there already about how this thing games. I'll just refer you to those. I want to talk uh, specifically about productivity. Part of my dream with a system like this is to have all the tools I use on the go. Well, first off, I use an iPad Pro with an app called Duet Display. With Duet Display, my iPad Pro basically becomes a USB 3.0 monitor. So with that, let's look. Uh, I got Unity running, Visual Studio, uh, and Photoshop. I didn't want to show you startup times on this software because we'd be here for way too long. So. Um, Needless to say, it's slow loading the programs. Unity took probably two minutes to load and then another minute and a half to load my current game project. But once it's loaded, let me jump to the scene view here. The interface, you know, everything is pretty smooth, dragging it over. Some of the lagginess, again, could probably be chalked up to the fact that it's a USB 3.0 monitor. But as I kind of look around the scene, it's not that bad. It's running smoother than I thought it would with Unity. Uh, and then my game itself that I'm working on, this is a prototype, um, and it is, to be completely honest, not well optimized. Um, and I wasn't expecting to get more than a couple frames every few seconds. Now I hit play a couple seconds ago. I'm just going to keep talking, and this will give you a chance to see how long it actually takes to get anything done. I may jump this. This may get cut. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, so that's kind of your first clue on whether or not you can be productive in here. Yes, the software will run. Um, multitasking still works. I can hop on over while that's loading. There's Visual Studio, and there's some code. Scroll through the code. Um, all my code has worked. I'm running Visual Studio Community 2015. I've also run the HoloLens Technical Preview. I'm working on HoloLens software, and it's... Um, it ran pretty well. Meanwhile, while that's still loading, oh, by pretty well, I mean the HoloLens emulator actually ran because this supports hardware virtualization. Here's Photoshop while that's still running, loading. This document is 4096 by 4096 pixels at 72 DPI. Um, lots of layers. Like many Photoshop people out there, I have an, a, a growth area in organization. We'll call it a area of opportunity. So it's all mixed up and all over the place. If I click new, grab my pencil tool, it's ready to go. Um, you know, it's still loading that Unity project and this is all working fairly well. Let's check on that Unity project. Hey, it kind of loaded. There we go. All right, let's walk around a little bit. Or, oh, I gotta click in the scene window to make it active. There we go. And my Bluetooth keyboard isn't synced, so I'll just use this. There we go. So, obviously, that's not the kind of frame rate you would release a game with, but I am surprised it runs this well. Um, I can't wait to further optimize the code. If you're interested in my game development and the optimization, um, you can check that out on my main uh, development blog, step2digital.com. Anyway... This kind of happens after a while. After it's been running for a while, the game sort of freezes up. I'm not going to blame the GPD win for that. I, I honestly think that's my code. One of the lower end i3s for laptops. The demo runs buttery smooth and doesn't hang. Um, and again, that's one reason I'm glad I ran it on here, is because this gives me a sense of how well I'm doing. Um, I can't obviously have my game lock up on, on anything. All right, another reason for Duet Display and the iPad Pro, the Apple Pencil works with pressure sensitivity. You'll see that it's not synced up. I haven't quite figured that one out yet. For some reason, I can't get the Calibrate to run. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's not syncing up. That's something I'll have to look into. I'm sure it will. Anyway, it's really cool to be able to use the Apple Pencil in Photoshop. Um, on a Windows device. There are other, um, if you're familiar with this kind of thing, you've probably heard of AstroPad. 
Astropad does a much better job. It's almost comparable. Most artists actually would say it's better than a Cintiq, but it's only for OS X. And I need to run in Windows for Photoshop because I use certain plugins such as um, Quixel and various um, plugins that allow me to paint on 3D models and that sort of thing. That's only Windows. <laughs> so now that Duet Display Pro supports the Apple Pencil, well, I can uh, use this in place of a Cintiq or even an Intuos once I figure out the calibration issue I'm having. But how well does it work with the GPD Win? I gotta be honest, I'm, I'm not gonna be as productive as I dreamed I would. And that's on me. I mean, what I know not to expect this kind of work out of, you know, an Intel Atom processor. But, you know, a boy can dream. A GPD Win, when they launched this, one of the slogans they had is that it could be used for, like, IT and code development. And I have no doubt that when they made that claim, they were thinking of, like, remoting into uh, a server to do server maintenance or coding for websites or coding for web apps, some light JavaScript. Um, and then, of course, I turned around and threw v Visual Studio and Unity and Blender and Photoshop at it. I don't think that's what they meant. So a couple things to note about it. If you are going to try to use it for productivity, this keyboard is not going to work for productivity. Uh, I use the Microsoft, I think it's a Surface Line Folio keyboard. So I keep this with me. Um, very portable mouse, little Logitech guy. And uh, because the size and dimensions are almost exactly that of the 3DS XL, you can use 3DS accessories for it. So here I have the non-branded, uh, it's actually a 2DS case. And I use it to keep the chargers and other things. If I were to take that game controller out, I could actually store the keyboard and mouse in here. So that's all the power, external battery, accessories, everything stored right here in this 2DS case which I got off of eBay for less than $4 shipped from China. So that could stay in one cargo pocket and this could stay in the other and I have a computer that I could technically do work on with me at all times. That's, you know, though, let's look at this, right? External battery, all the accessories, and the GPD win. Volume and weight, I might as well be carrying my 13-inch MacBook Pro, um, which has other benefits, not just additional power, but battery life. Um, quick note on battery life, runs out real fast. I started at 100% the other day. I did a file transfer between a USB 3.0 drive and a micro SD card, and it it took about 30 minutes to do the file transfer, and it knocked about um, almost 30% off the battery life for that 30 minutes of file transfer. So then I was at 70%. Last night, I loaded World of Warcraft on it, I played it for like 10 minutes, and the battery life went from 73% to like 64% in 10 minutes of playing World of Warcraft. So, that gives you some ideas. Um, so even for the gaming though, that's what's hard for me on this one. I, I wanted to finally sit around and play through my Steam library on this thing. And I can with streaming, it's good on battery life with streaming, but in reality when I sit down when I actually have time to sit down and play a game um, my laptop is usually right there with me uh, so I, I'm not sure when I'm gonna use it that doesn't mean I don't recommend buying it if you're into emulators and older PC games and you wanna just you know play them on the couch or in bed this is great um, I would do those things but I just typically don't have time these days for that I'm glad I backed it um, as a, I always believe that as a consumer, you kind of vote with your dollars. So when I saw this, uh, I used to be really into the UMPCs and always dreamed of something like this. So regardless of how well it turned out, I wanted to use my consumer voting power to tell people this is the kind of product I want. So if people continue to make this kind of thing a couple generations from now, it could be exactly what I want. I want that, but I want the power of at least at least a low, uh, ultra low voltage i3 processor. Uh, maybe a Core M could be okay. If I think of anything else, I will leave it in the comments. Uh, probably this video has probably been choppy. It's not, <laughs> doesn't represent my best ability to edit a video. I just wanted to kind of give you guys um, a look at this. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, again, if you want to see what this game I'm working on is all about, um, you can hit up my main blog, step2digital.com. 
Uh, this video is kind of from my tech blog, which is techup.step2digital.com, and it's where I just kind of log the things I'm using uh, in my workflow. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.